Hey guys, this is Priyanka. In the last tutorial, we just created the basic structure of Google Maps activity. In this part, first I'm going to add some permissions. So open your manifest file. And as you can see, the access find location permission is already added by default when we create Google Maps activity. And I'm just going to copy this and paste it. And instead of find location, it's access course location. And I'm going to paste it one more time and write access network state. And it's access underscore network underscore state and same for find location and the other things. Again, copy it one more time and write internet, just internet not access internet and now just write uses permission android name and for the name write com dot google dot android dot providers dot gsf dot permission dot read underscore g services and read underscore g services is in uppercase and just close this so these are the five permissions we are going to need for this application so make sure you have already added these permissions uh, before proceeding otherwise you will face some errors and you won't be able to recognize why it is happening open your java file now maps activity dot java and here, as you can see, the maps activity class is extending fragment activity and implementing on map ready callback class. So we are going to add three more classes here. So it is going to implement four classes. So write Google API client dot connection callbacks comma Google API client dot on connection field listener comma location listener and when you add these classes you are going to get some errors so you can click on this one and click implement methods or you can just click alt enter and click implement methods and we are going to need these methods so whenever you implement these classes, these methods should be added even if you are not using them and click OK. So as you can see, these methods will get added here and we are going to write some code in some of those methods. But when you add location listener, it will add Android dot location dot location listener. But this is not the class we want. It's the other one. So just erase this. And you are going to get this error one more time, but don't worry, just write import com dot google dot android dot gms dot location dot location listener. You are still going to get an error, but to resolve this error, open your Gradle file, build.gradle. And in the dependencies, you can see that there are two dependencies. So just copy this one, play services maps and paste it. And instead of maps, write location and then click sync now. So after it is done syncing, open maps activity .java file. And as you can see, that error is gone, but you will get this error because when we added location listener, a uh, different class was added and these are the methods that were added because of that class. So just remove these methods. So the Google API client dot connection callback class has the on connected method, which is here and it is called whenever the device is connected and Google API client dot on connection failed listener is used whenever the connection is failed and on connection failed method is called. 
the location listener class is used whenever there is a change of location and on location changed method is called so as you can see in the on map ready function originally sydney is a default location and they have added a marker to that location so i'm just going to remove this code because we are not going to set default location to sydney so the on map ready function is called whenever the map is ready to be used so here we can add listeners markers and other attributes so you can change the map type also for that you can write m map dot set map type and here google map dot and these are the map types hybrid non normal satellite terrain so i'm not going to change my map type because i want it to be the default one so i'm going to write m map dot set my location enabled and it takes a boolean value so write true so as you can see you need to add permission check here so just click alt enter to resolve this error and you can see that it is telling us to add permission check so just click on that and just cut it from here and add it inside the if condition so as you can see the error is gone and it is checking if we have added these permissions access find location and access course location and then it is setting our location enabled as true i'm going to define one more function so just write protected synchronized void build google api client and i'm going to build a google api client as the method name suggests i'm going to declare the variable here so write private google api client client and i'm going to define it inside this method so write client is equal to new google api client dot builder and pass this inside the builder parenthesis and write dot add connection callbacks again pass this here dot add on connection field listener again pass this here dot add api location services dot api dot build semicolon and to resolve this error just click alt enter and that class will get added here and it is com.google.android.gms.location.location.services now we have created a google api client but now we need to connect it so just write client dot connect and we are going to call this method inside on map ready class so just write it here before the set my location enabled statement and remove return from here because on map ready's return type is void so just re remove it from here to get the current location of a moving person or object we need to update it we need to update it regularly so for that it uses fused location provider api and velocity altitude are also needed and these are provided by location object so there will be a few more parts to this tutorial because i'm going to show you a few more things that you can do with google maps activity so this is it for today thank you for watching this video make sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to get the new tutorials bye